Hello and welcome to today's edition. Uh, my name is Stephen Williams. I will walk you through the ACD ChemSketch software as it's already open. Uh, are you a chemistry student and you find it very difficult to draw chemical structure? Welcome to this channel. I will straight ahead be introducing you to some of the features, the file, the edit, page, tools, objects, templates, options, documents, add-ons, ACD labs, and help. As you stay tuned to this channel, I will guide you through the nitty gritties of this software so that you can be able to use it conveniently. So straight ahead, this is this, uh, the draw uh, pop-up uh, default page. And so you have the structure and the, the draw. So at this side here are some of the tools available. And this is the color palette. Uh, you can decide to color uh, the chemical structure or the lab equipment. Uh, you can be able to insert conveniently. Uh, so come straight ahead to the structure. So the entire menu change. Uh, on this uh, right hand side here are some of the default structures that are available. Uh, and here also are some elements out here that you can use as substituent attachment to some of the default structures available. Uh, this is the periodic table as you can see. Uh, so just to demonstrate that to you. And uh, this is the radical table also. As you can see, these are chains, the cycle, the C group, miscellaneous, protecting groups, and amino acid groups. Uh, so just to show you that, uh, but straight ahead, I would just want to make do with some of the default structures available here. So I would like to pick the benzene ring here and bring it to any portion in this work area and drop it. So I'll drop it here. And so I want to put another benzene ring side by side to this. So this is how you do it. Ensure that it's side by side and you click on it. I want to also do another one again side by side here to it, then click on it. So this gives you uh, a triple benzene structure. So, but perhaps you want to name it. All you need to do is to drop the two. Uh, to be able to name this structure, all you just need to do is to come to this menu here that says generate name for structure. Now, the moment you click on it, it will generate the name. So the name is what? Antra Senin. Uh, so this is how you can be able to generate name conveniently on the ChemSketch software. So sometimes uh, you don't need to trouble your head on how to even name the structures. Uh, all you just need to do is to straight ahead just draw and just come to this menu that says what? Create generate name for structure. Uh, so quickly I will just uh, delete this. So highlight through, delete this. Uh, I want to draw a straight chain carbon with some substituent attached to it and also try to generate the name. So quickly I will come to this place that says draw chains. So you click on it, left click uh, with your mouse and uh, drag across to the number of carbons you want. So I want it to be at 10. So I will leave it here. Uh, so I may also want to pick a substituent of my choice but I would like to drop it here. I uh, would like to make do with this nitro group here. So I'll bring it to any portion of, of uh, the carbon or the carbon I want it to be attached to. Any of this I can do conveniently. Uh, so I would like to place it here and just click. Uh, so this has helped me to attach this substituent conveniently. So also maybe I want to generate name for this particular structure I've drawn. Uh, so all I need to do is to come back here to the generate name for structure and just click and right away it gives me the name as what five nitro decane so the acd chem sketch software enables you to do this conveniently and as you follow through in these tutorials i will be guiding you how to draw more complex structures so stay tuned to this channel like and subscribe so that if i have any latest videos on chem sketch you'll be the first to view it thank you very much for listening and perhaps you have a con a content you want us to work on you can just leave it in the comment down below. Thank you very much.